Good morning everybody, welcome to the new workshop. So it's one of my first projects. The insurance agent is coming tomorrow, so I need to fix this a bit, this a bit up because this is the road we see in C, but I made the previous part last year. It's quite different. So the entire frame weighed around three, four, five hundred kilograms and it was two and a half by one and a half meters. So we had a lot of difficulty moving it. So we actually uh, cut it off. We cut it in half uh, and I want to do some upgrades based on what I've learned over the past year. So this is that video. And the first step will be painting the inside white to have better lighting for you guys when I film it. I just installed the new white panels. I put on the lighting again, the Wi Fi camera, put the VFD in, and then I was thinking, like, there's always some dust, even on the VFD. So I'm gonna uh, add this extra board, which was planned but not already there. I'm gonna put the VFD under the table uh, so that it's, everything is uh, dust free. So I mounted everything on the wall. Let's take a look at what's doing what. So at first I didn't really like the duet which is on top uh, because you are not able to control your spindle. But that's not true actually. It took a lot of figuring out. There are two ports, L1 and L2, and there are uh, a fan port and a 24 volts on, 24 volts off port. So I'm gonna do a real quick overview of what's this. So this is the VFD. This is a 24 volt power supply for the duet. This is a 12 volt power supply and here's what's happening. So I have two red cables here. And this one is actually attached to a fan. Um, and it's, uh, it's a PWM to analog converter. So here uh, the, pa the, the, the fan goes like this and it's uh, Possible modulation tuning, and this puts it over to 1.10 volt. And these two wires go into the VFD, so the VFD measures uh, 0 until 10 volts. And let's say a value of 5 volts means uh, 12,000 RPM. So I can do in a code, and you have to do it manual, uh, but there is code for it, and then you can um, adjust the VFD. Uh, in speed so usually at the start of my program of fusion I have like uh, f set the fan speed to 24,000 and then it goes to 24,000 so this device needs a 12 volt power supply which is this one uh, the other option is that there is a 24 volt on off board and this is a 24 volt relay board so attached to this I have this block and in here I can put my vacuum uh, and other stuff. So that means that also in the code I can, it's I think uh, M104, I can turn on and off devices like the vacuum, uh, I can control the speed and this is really, really helpful because you can run a program, everything starts by itself and when you're done everything shuts down by itself and the only noise you'll hear will be the VFD, the power supply uh, and the water pump uh, and that makes it really good for production because you're actually getting somewhere. So I've been installing a lot of panels. This is especially great when you have like the work area and then you have a tool drawer underneath with mails, tape, stuff like that. Little plank. And especially on the back side, a lot has been done. So this is the vacuum system waiting for a 30 liter barrel to have more space. Um, but in here we have like the control and stuff. Uh, and in here we have the vacuum, water pump. Uh, so there is 
uh, this foam is coming and this foam will be noise quiet, which would be absolutely great. But then I need to install some cooling, but uh, going in the right direction. So there she is, let's make something. So the first step would be a spindle warm-up. So I get to macros, a macro motor on, which is at its file, M300S6000. So M3 uh, switches on uh, the fan and S3000 is the speed. Uh, this is not a macro I'm using because I developed a uh, warm-up macro. And this is the magic, and this is where a lot of people are looking for. You can control the spindle with, uh, with the Duet 2 controller, so it is possible. So I actually really like this tape band glue uh, method of fixturing because I make knife handles and they're always flat on the bottom so I can do everything without tabs, contours, uh, residual stock. It's really easy and really clean for me to go to the next step in my knife making process. Uh, it's important to clean the tape so remove all the excess. So for probe wing, what I'm going to do is uh, turn my spindle on, then go down, bump into the X side, then I type in the code for this is minus 2 because I have a 4mm end bill, then I do the same on the other side and then I'll do a Z probe with the probe. I do like that because then I'm on the very edge and you can hear the end bill touch if you go by 0.1mm, uh, then I just know what the edge is. Okay, so um, she should be all set by now. Let's uh, see what happens. In the end, I really like this setup for the CNC. It took me over a year to uh, develop and know what I want, but with the stitching glue, uh, I get really nice finishes and really easy to remove my parts, especially because I need a flat bottom. Um, but also with the new setup, you know, having an enclosure is really helpful and I really encourage you to do so. It will help with noise, it will help especially with dust. Um, with how I did it now that all my electronics is in one uh, special cupboard that really helps to keep all the dust out of the electronics. Uh, I rewired everything so that it's nicer, but also the very vertical setup where the uh, vacuum is under the table instead of next to it as I did last year for some reason. It, it really makes sense and also to have like a drawer with all your tools underneath it. It's more compact, it's, uh, co it's especially quieter. Um, I really, really like this new setup and uh, I hope you guys learned something from it when you were building your router. Um, and the thing is, make it look nice because if you make it look nice, you will keep it nice and clean as well, which is always better for your machine and for your own health. So I'm wishing you the best of luck and have a lot of build pleasure with your uh, own CNC and see you on the next video. Thank you.